Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering wages. Today our lecture is about the determinancy of the frame structure. So in this lecture, I will be going to discuss the three different categories of the determinant structures. Either the structure frame structure is determinant, determinant stable, indeterminate or unstable. So also I will be solving uh, some more example uh, to clarify the determinancy of the frame structure. This determinancy is usually defined by the RD which is called the redundancy. So RD usually this is a formula for the redundancy of the frames. We can find the redundancy of the frame by this formula where is 3M plus R minus 3N minus S where M is the number of members, how much member in our frame is, R is the number of support reactions, how many support reactions are there in the frame structure and N is the number of nodes, how many nodes are provided in your frame structure, I will show this by examples, okay. And the S is internal hinge, how many internal hinge like this in this case is only one internal hinge is used, so how many internal hinges are used. So by putting all this value and solving this formula, we will get our RD value. So if RD is equal to 0, we call this type of the frame structure is the determinant and the stable structure. It means that we can solve our problem by summation of moment that is equal to 0 and by summation of vertical force is equal to 0 or summation of horizontal force is equal to 0. So we can solve our problem by using, the, using these three equilibrium equations. We don't need to require any deformation relation equation. Why? When the case of when the R is greater than 0, it means your structure is indeterminate. You cannot solve, you cannot use these three types of the equilibrium equation to solve your structure, to analyze your structure. So, when the RD is less than 0, it means your structure is unstable. It is not going to take the load, but it will fall down upon uh, loading. So, let first to consider this example. So, to find its RD value, redundancy. So, first of all, I will know about the M, where the M in this structure is the number of members. So, one member, two member, and three members. We have three members, right? So, we can say that our M is 3. Similarly, R is the number of support reactions. You can see here there is a row of support. It can only resist the vertical force. Okay, one reaction. There is a hinge support. It can resist the vertical as well as the horizontal. So, it is the two supports. So, the number of reactions is 3. 1, 2, 3. Similarly, the number of nodes is like 1. At which the member joins is called the node. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 nodes. So the number of nodes are 4 and the AC number of hinges and number of hinges is only one internal hinge. So I can write the redundancy as 3 into M is 3 plus R is 3 minus 3 N is like 4, 4 minus 1. So R D will come out to be 9 plus 3 minus 12 minus 1 so it comes out to be if I solve this so uh, it again comes out to be 12 minus 12 and minus 1 so it means it comes out to be minus 1 which is less than 0 in this case so it means our structure is unstable unstable structure and this is not going to take the load but it will fall down upon the loading so this is the way how we calculate the redundancy of the frame structure Hope you guys understand that how now how, how we tickle with this formula. Now I'm going to solve some other example as well. Now let's consider this is the other example and we want to find its determinancy. So to find its determinancy, I will write it first the number of members here. Number of members is one, two, because the hand internal hand separates the member into two parts. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So our M is five. Now the R Number of support reaction, there is a row of support, set only one resistance, it is a fixed support, so 1, 2, and the moment, 3, and this is also 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and n is number of nodes, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so number of nodes are 6, here in this case, and its internal hinges are 2, 1, 2, so by putting into the main formula, Rd will come out to be 3 into m, m is 5, and then plus 5, again minus 3 into m, 3 into m, 
and then minus s internal hinges. So Rd comes out to be, if I solve this, my Rd comes out to be 0. So it means my structure lies in this case, 0. So it is determinant and stable. It is determinant and stable frame structure. And stable frame structure. So now take this is another example of the frames and you want to find at the uh, determinancy. Either determinant, indeterminate or unstable. So first of all I will find its member. Number of members are 1, 2, 3. So 3 members. So M is equal to 3. R is equal to number of support stations is 1, 2 as a hand support. 1, 2 and 3. So total are 5. And the number of nodes are 1, 2, 3, 4. And there is no internal hinge. So R D will come out to be uh, 3 into M, 3 into 3, into R is 5, minus 3 into 4, and 0. It comes out to be 9 plus 5 minus 12. It comes out to be 2. So it is greater than 0. So you can see here, it is also the indeterminate structure. So this is the indeterminate frame structure. We cannot analyze this type of structure by the summation of moment by the three equilibrium equation but we have to use some deflection relationship uh, with the stresses so then we can find out the uh, analysis we can find out the shear for the bending moment of this frame structure hope you guys understand how to find the redundancy of the frame structure and how to classify your structure according to three different categories i hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for the receiver engineering videos